Alright, hello everybody, Austin here, and welcome back to Oxenfree. Uh, get this out of the way. I may have to do some, uh, I want to say backtracking, but uh, it might start me off like 10 minutes before I left off, so I might have to cut that out. Oh, I'm gonna hate to go out in that. So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to... That's what I thought. Like now, <laughs> so since we're stuck anyway, I... You have to be joking. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know this is like way too much too soon for us right now, but I'm gonna totally explode. I'll force it out fast. I cannot at all believe you right now. Don't look at me. Be quieter. It's like louder than the rainstorm. <laughs> I know the uh, acoustics are really carrying it. Sorry. Clarissa! Okay, that was definitely her. She knows it's us. I don't think she'd be freaking out like this if she wasn't, like, in trouble or something. You know, it just occurred to me she could also be having, like, a Ren episode. A Renisode. Possessed, or whatever we want to call it. <sighs> nah, Clarissa's just being Clarissa. Here we are. Everything harder than it has to be. The handprints are a macabre touch. Do you know who did that? Please tell me it's like a known thing teenagers here do or something. Clearly, it's the, uh, <laughs> the evil, obviously. First they finger paint, then they wear our lungs like scarves. Yeah, well, somebody's got to keep the traditions alive. Can I use this door? You, you heard that, right? I don't know. I have no idea. Why would I know? I don't know. All right, fine. We'll both be in the dark together. Literally. Literally. Jinx. Crap. Alright, how do I, uh... Fucking... Hack this light or whatever. Here we are. That didn't take long. High in the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. It's one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey, kids, want to play a game? No. What is it doing? Hangman? Be sharp and listen, mister. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. Grand. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like a test? Uh... This, this isn't how you play hangman. Here's a simple one to start. Don't <laughs> hold your breath. What is the name of the school you are standing in? School Ten. we're standing in? Isn't this Nine. like a classroom? Eight. I, I U.S. Army Radio Communication School. That's the stuff. Okay, really? good. Now you're swinging. It all goes into your final rating. You want to get a good rating, don't you? You want to be a good soldier? Why the hell would we want to be a good soldier? No, not at all. I mean, why should I care about any of this? Why should you care? They didn't care. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Ugh, I feel like I'm stuck on a tilt a whirl. Just keep the pointer on the button. Question two. What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? Alright, fucking give me the answers already. You call codes cookies? There, now you're cooking. Coded radio transmitters have an important job, and you wouldn't want them to be unqualified. Can I be flipped up s right side up, please? I don't like the inverted answer buttons. No matter what, because if that's the case, then... Watch your language, young lady. There's no room for sass in the armed forces. Oh, screw you! This is we are an island race. And through all our times, the sea has ruled our breaks. 
All right, if I'm answering the questions, you can leave Jonas out of it, okay? One last round and you've cleared your exam. Fantastic. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? 85. The other ships. 85? Correct. 97 brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. 85 officers, 12 passengers. Fantastic. Now let me progress, please. It all adds up to another fact for the classification board. Just another fact among many. All right, Jonas, come on, man. Let's put the pedal to the metal, buddy. Where is this last one? There it is. The United States submarine Canaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Through the periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Canaloa was lost today, lost at sea, near... Is this... Are you the dead officers that sunk on the Canaloa? We are the sunken. What... what do you want? For the first time, for the first time, for the first time. Time. Just time. That's creepy. <laughs> what? I... that was not fun. Just take it slow and easy. You've just had... an experience. Yes. Yes. Very good. This has been United News, and thank you for listening. This is just unbelievable. I heard a door open. That's gotta be Clarissa. Let's get her and get out of here. Or use her radio and get out of here, but let's just get out of here. That's the plan. There we go. Now we can use the ladder. Clarissa's asleep right now. Be still so as not to wake her. Say what? Huh? What what kind of sense does that make? I think she's lost it, guys. <laughs> Cross your fingers. Exactly. You, you aren't Sorry. dead in here, are you? Super twins decided to grace me with their presence. I thought maybe I wasn't good enough for a house call, doctor. Um, are you all right? I mean, yeah. Why? Yeah, sure, my hair might be a little weird, but there's not a lot I can do about that. Um, you just sounded off, I guess. Right? Didn't she sound off? I don't really know what she normally sounds like. Well, I mean, I don't know. I'm fine now, so... All right, where's this famous radio? I don't know. I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex, want to take a look at this? Why not, right? Yeah, no, this is... This is like a low frequency thing. It's just meant for the base. It won't. I don't think it can beam out. <sighs> really? No, no, no. Isn't there a way? These officers who know your problems full and well will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Who is that? Cross your fingers. Oh boy. Jonas, wait. We're in another. We got loop. <coughs> Crap. Well, just keep me in the loop. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> nice pun, bro. Clarissa! Oh shit. Like, can we come? <sighs> Holy crap. What is it? Is something wrong? 
Or not? Look, Clarissa might be dead in there. Wh why? <laughs> we just heard her. Look, are you- I'm not nutso, Jonas. We've, like, done this. We've gone through this door and seen Clarissa twice now, and once she was hanged, and we're about to do it a third time. Okay, all right, I'm sorry, I believe that. You believe this, so, all right, just keep me posted, I guess, on how that develops. <laughs> not really sure what to say this time, are you? Clarissa? I would have swore she was in here. Clarissa? <sighs> oh. Maybe this was the the thing, the radio she was using. If we can get it to, I mean, she got it to kind of work, so. It's not gonna work, Jonas. Huh? How do you know? Jonas, we're in a loop. We already just, it's okay. Knock yourself out. Let's see what happens when he tries it. <laughs> Watch it just short circuit and kill him. Clarissa. Clar Clarissa, what do you do? Oh shit. Alex, don't worry. She's like I never forget she's that like I'm an American. Clarissa, will you wait up? For my there will be other ships and other souls to sail them. What are you doing? Oh. Oh my god, why would she do that? She was the bitch anyway. Why would she do that? We're, we're, we're not it's not like we're she killed herself. Oh my god, she just killed herself. They made her. I, I, I just. Uh, this is. Jonas, this is so horrible. I don't. I don't even know what to. We. We should get to the others. I, I can't even imagine telling them. Or. Or how to tell them. I'm. I, I don't even know how I can tell her mom. I mean, we. She knows me. This can't. Oh God, and just the fact that I'm the one who, who was here, and God. We'll, we'll figure it out. This is unbelievable. Just like we always do. <clears throat> oh, now I'm walking into a table. Wow, um, there's no way she got up from that, right? And now she's gone. Oh my, oh, thank Christ, she's alive. Maybe she just, maybe she just twisted her, twisted something, or... Alex, even if she fell feet first, she would have broken every bone in her body. How'd she just get up and walk away? This is impossible. We uh, did just go through a... Uh, oh, hey, the rocks. Temporal anomaly, a time thing. Maybe it's screwed with what happened. Well, regardless, good news? Yes. Jonas, of course it's good news that Clarissa isn't dead. Christ. That's not why I hesitated. Of course it's good news if she's not dead. <laughs> I'm just saying if. What, you think she's a zombie now? Three seconds ago you said she couldn't get up from that. Now you're leaping right into zombie. I'm not saying she's a zombie. I'm saying we don't know what she is. Currently. <laughs> Where is it? There it is. Charlie Six. Every individual it is maintained is enveloped in a radium, invisible to the carnal eye, and only perceived by the soul accustomed to it. I couldn't hear anything she was saying. <sighs> Let's just get back to Ren at the comm tower. Maybe he's had better luck than us at anything. Okay, I'm not veering off track. That's good. Alright, come on. Epiphany Fields. Apparently we're a lot closer than we thought. Mayday. May. Oh, crap. This is it. Ren, this is just coming out of the speakers on the roof thing. It's not... Ugh. My God. Is this what 
I sound like? All right. How can I anyone know that stand I'm to listen tower? to me all day? <sighs> Just where did Clarissa hobble off to? Let's talk to Ren and Nona before we try and find her, because, like, I don't know, maybe they know something we don't. Right. Hey! Hey! I... I saw you guys coming up from the tower. Oh. The Dick Tower. I think you mean Harden Tower. Please don't ruin that for me, it's all I have left. How's Nona doing? We heard what I imagine was her first radio cast ever earlier. Yeah, no, she's, I don't know. I mean, she's frazzled one moment, then that makes me frazzled, then she sees that I'm frazzled, so she like freezes up. Any luck contacting somebody? Nope, no luck to speak of. And honestly, I thought this week was gonna be a big karma dump. I found like 50 bucks in the street and I knew who it was. Well, we're all here now. Well, I mean, except Clarissa, but we're mostly all here and we'll come up with something. I hope so. The stupid radio has been what my therapist would call a negative reinforcer. Just won't work right. Just, I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? Jesus kind of, Christ. You know, it's just about to start doing its thing. Wait, second brownie? Ren, please tell me this is a joke, okay? This is a joke, right? Mmm, why would this be a joke? I'm not joking. Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. It'll, it'll bring me back up. That's what it does. If you're down... I cannot believe you. You're gonna keel over in like a purple haze while we try and save our lives. I'm gonna be fine. Last time I just ate too much. This was a gimme. It's baby food. Oh, God. Oh, I'm gonna kill you. First option I get that involves killing someone, I'm going to rip Ren's throne out. I think I said throne. Probably did, because I can't speak correctly. Climb the ladder, please. <coughs> Why does nobody want to follow me? I think they may be broken. Okay, there's Jonas. Oh, they're right on top of each other. Okay. If only there was a sprint mechanic. That'd be nice. This thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like, I don't know. We heard you on the squawk box. When I tried it, I just got static and a, a weird sound, so... That's about all that I'm getting. Uh, sorry I was like, weird earlier. But, hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been like, out there. Uh. It's been ghosts. No, not ghosts are going on. The blackouts, the hallucinations, it's all been ghosts. Ghosts? Really? Yeah, and it would really help if you could just jump to the believing us part. It would save a headache. Oh! Oh, I got it! This is great! This is perfect! <coughs> I know exactly what to do. Do you? Yeah, totally! It's Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler? Yeah, she has a boat. Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's not. Oh boy, thank God for that memory. Yeah, finally something positive jarred loose through all the hysteria. My sister, Allie, worked at the park's office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not gonna go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, come on. I'm not a Burnout. Okay. Well, I mean, Jonas kind of does have a point here. Like, do you know there's a boat, or is this like when you knew the teachers kept liquor in the lounge? <laughs> Come on. I was like 13 when I thought they all got drunk at lunch. This is a real thing. There's a boat at her dock. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? You had Alex bring the radio. You brought us here. Come on, Jonas, this is nobody's fault. Ghosts are never anybody's fault, certainly not ours. Yeah, guys. This isn't really a productive. It should be obvious to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, 
We all grew up with each other. Ren, Al it's okay. Relax. I like the plan. The plan's fine, Willow. It doesn't matter if the plan is fine. This whole thing has been a complete joke to this guy. I, I can't believe you're even kind of defending him. Jonas. I know you said Ren is like harmless or whatever, but I'm over giving him passes. And you should be too. I don't need a pass from you. Alex is don't my- suck me into this tornado of- of whatever is happening right now. Just guys, please stop. We can- we can fight on the way home. After we get the boat, and I guess if that's even what we're doing. Look, I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there what is, is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. Honestly, anything to get me off this tower and away from this specific configuration of yelling people would do wonders for me right now. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my... Like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Fuck your you. Food is gonna start in any <laughs> second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. You, uh... Just shut up, both of you. Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night... Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Jonas, let's go. Ah, <sighs> thank you. What?! First you ditched me back in town to talk to this guy about God knows what, and now that stuff's gone crazy, you're still picking him over me? Him? Yes. Him. Him? Ren, come on. It'll be fine. We'll watch the walkie-talkie. Ren, you ate another brownie. What do you expect me to do? I expect you to, like, care? I expect you to think, hey, maybe Ren needs some support. Just... <sighs> Just fine. Whatever. Have fun, you two. This isn't fun. That's the point. Oh. God, will you just shut up? Okay, before things get stupid again, good luck with the whole key thing. We'll be waiting, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Where is this? Oh, it's by the docks. Holy shit, Ren's an idiot. I don't know how you could have been friends with him. Also, this is a choice that I've seen no one else make, so things should be totally different now. Come on. It's complete awkward silence now. That's weird. I hate how they just don't follow me up and down ladders and shit. It makes me think they're broken. <clears throat> what is wrong with me right now? There we are. Epiphany Fields. I think that's where we need to go. Okay, look. I'm gonna say I'm sorry now for what happened up there, but I do not want you to take it as an admission of guilt. That distinction is important, because I don't think anything that I said was that off base. Well, if you're going to say you're sorry, I guess the floor is yours. I'm sorry. I am. I didn't mean it to get that far. Look, I, and I just want to clear the air too, just so Ren or whoever can't use it as ammo <clears throat> against me. But you might have heard that I uh, went to jail at some point. I never went to jail, but I did beat up a guy and get sent to juvenile detention for it. I just <laughs> wanted you to know so it wasn't like a thing hanging over your head or anything. Why did you do it? Why'd you, um, why'd you do it? Just. My mom got sick, and then she got real sick, and then this kid, Timmy Finster, threw a baseball at my head, and yes, he was joking, but I don't know, I just popped. Yeah, it was as stupid as it sounds. 
and I'm not going to defend myself. You lost control, Jonas. It happens. We... we break sometimes. My mom found out, of course, and I never really squared it with her in a way that... I don't know. Things never really work out the way you want, you know? But, whatever. Yeah, well, you're preaching to the choir on that one. I'm not gonna say I'm a good guy, Alex, but I'm trying to be. And that's really about all I can say. You are a what? good guy, Jonas. I'm a scary judge of people. I'm like a bee. I can sense stuff. <laughs> but I'm serious. Oh. You're a good guy, okay? You are. I mean it. Okay, all right. I'm a good guy. Let's just move on. All righty. I think I'm going the right way. This is Here we are. This is whatever, but are you like religious at all? I mean, my dad said your mom wasn't, but at No, not at all. My parents weren't and I'm not either. Okay, but still, even after tonight, this hasn't shaken anything loose or made you made you sort of reconsider. No. I I mean, we say they're ghosts. Unexplained phenomena. But when a bird looks in the mirror, she doesn't see her reflection. She sees, like, a bird assassin. And there's a strong possibility we're just as stupid right now. Huh. All right. Well, my mom was Methodist. My dad kind of didn't care. But tonight, kind of... I guess I'm just realizing a lot of it's rubbed off on me more than I thought. But I don't know. I was just wondering if you were. Well, what about it rubbed off on you? Uh, faith discerns the things of... Is that... Oh my god, is that Clarissa? She's... Well, well, I was gonna say okay, but... Oh. Um, not too sure about that. Clarissa, where have you been? The last time we saw you jumped out a window. I, I mean, I thought... We thought you were dead. Oh, Jesus, she has the... She's doing the thing. <laughs> thing. Christ, this is not... I am not getting used to this, I'll be honest. Oh, God, not again. Uh, I hate when this happens. Maybe they wanna... Maybe the ghosts or whatever wanna help us somehow? Is that the, like, point of trying to... Trying to... Whatever, like, talk through us or something? I guess. One way to find out. Clarissa, how are you, uh... Do oh. Doing... Wrong button. Alex, little help over here. Clarissa, why don't you crawl down from there, please? <laughs> Alright, that's one. What? You think you can control me? Clarissa? I'm... I'm trying to help you. This is... this will... Help me? Help me? How will that help me? I was looking forward to seeing you. Yes, I used to dream about something like this. Don't you... Uh, there's a ghost in you right now. They're... they've like perverted this... Ghost? Sounds pretty scary, kids. Better leave the night light on. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Is she okay, or...? Oh, she's... Clarissa, are you okay? <sighs> Steady, just... just take it easy. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay, just take it slow. You've just... been through something. <sighs> Do you remember anything that happened? <sighs> I remember... Waiting in Fort Milner, and seeing you. That's it? How did I get here? We... I think we were hoping you could tell us that. But I don't even know if it matters. You're here now. There's been, like, time disturbances or something. And I think that's what's been teleporting people around. So... And we just had one. Time disturbances? You really don't remember anything? No. I remember something. I remember you. With that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. The music just died. It's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Wait, what's what's going on? We're back at the... What? It's Clarissa's turn? Yeah, it's Clarissa's turn. And you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, Say what? your idiot best friend, and your new stepbrother- Clarissa, please don't draw a chalk line here. 
don't make factions, just... We have to stick together if we're gonna make it through this. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She creates... It was both of us. Jonas was there too. It's not like I decided to end the world tonight or something. Oh my god. You see this? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God. The town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking Clarissa. forehead. And the giant lit up Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like, it would take a very sick person to see it that way. And I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa! It doesn't make it my fault! Anyone could have been there, anyone, and then they would have had to watch him die, you unbelievable prick! Anyone wouldn't have watched him die, Alex. Anyone else would have done something. Okay, enough, seriously. This is, Clarissa, this is so, I, I can't even believe we're talking about this right now. She is, Jonas, it, it was awful, all right? It's still awful, and I... I know. I know it's okay. I know. But right now, we're gonna break into that office, and we're gonna find the key. And we're going to go home. No. No? What do you mean, no? All the outs in free. So let's... Wait. What? Wasn't Clarissa with us, like, two seconds ago? That's crazy. She was... It was like she was just here. Oh, damn it. Yeah, she was just here. Wait. I'm getting... It's deja vu again. Are we... Did we get glitched again? <sighs> you know, I don't... I don't understand how what we did in that cave is making... making any of this happen. Like, what Nobody are does. Gates? What are the gates? What are the... Why are there ghosts? Why... It's not even our fault. We just... I mean, how does a radio have this sort of effect? On anything? It, it doesn't. It can't. Okay, well, I'm not gonna... Whatever. We're here to get the key, and then we can leave and put all of this far behind us. Let's do it. The office is right here. Alright, that was a decent length video. Thank you all for watching. And, uh, I will see you all in the next video.